Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to Algebra. Uh, quadratic inequality in one variable. Chapter one, section three, the video objectives. I have only two objectives today from this video. Uh, the student should be able to solve one quadratic inequality in this form, or a system of quadratic inequalities means two times one system, two inequalities in one unknown. Let me start uh, direct in our objective or achieving our objectives today. Let me start with activity number one. Find and graph the solution set of this inequality. 4 into x minus 1 bigger than x into 3x minus 4. We start by removing brackets, okay? 4x minus 4 is bigger than x and 3x, 3x squared minus x and 4, 4x, okay? I want uh, the left-hand side to be this side. So I read the inequality from this side by writing 3x squared minus 4x smaller than this part, 4x minus 4, okay? Now remove this 4 minus 4x minus 4x and remove also minus 4 by adding 4, adding 4. You will get now 3x squared minus 4 minus 4 and minus 8x plus 4 smaller than, here is 0, okay? This inequality you can solve, uh, convert it to, to solve any inequality, quadratic inequality, change it to equ equation first. Write it 3x squared minus 8x plus 4 is equal to 0, not smaller. And then find the roots of this. When you find the roots or the solution of this inequality, you have the uh, general formula, x equal negative b plus or minus root delta over 2a, or you can factor. You can pick the way uh, is suitable or appropriate, easy for you. 3x squared, i.e. factor, for example, for 3x squared, and the th you factor this term and last term. The 4 can be factored also as 2 times 2. I, this 4 is positive, the same sign, the same middle term, negative and negative. And to check the middle term now, negative 2x and negative 6x, negative 8x. The factorization is correct. So... You can find the roots now, 3x is equal to 2, or x is equal to 2. Uh, so x equals 2 thirds, or x equals 2. Uh, last step here, you draw a number line, or put the point on a number line, 2 thirds, uh, the smaller to the left, the bigger number 2 to the right. Uh, come back to the original inequality, this one. I want this expression smaller than 0. The, this expression or this trinomial smaller than zero uh, between the roots here. Smaller than zero here, between the roots. The function is negative here and positive outside and zero at this point. This is the sign of the function f of x. Okay? So solution set uh, equals all x such that x belongs to R, means a set of all uh, real numbers such that x bigger than this inequality just to write it x bigger than two thirds smaller than two if you don't want to write uh, too much like this you just write two and third uh, open in interval two thirds and two like this or this only this is the same as this you can write this form or this form it's okay okay continue now with uh, next question Number two, uh, in activity number one, uh, f of x equal 4x squared plus 4x plus 3 and x belongs to r. Express f of x in the form of uh, this canonical form. Hence or otherwise, find something here more in, in b and c. Let me, let me solve number a first. I want to write this uh, general form into canonical form. Follow the steps now with me. Uh, go to the, the two terms, uh, x squared and x, and they take four common factors from these two terms. Okay, you have x squared plus x, and you leave three outside. And to go to the uh, bracket, rectangular bracket inside x squared plus x, and I change this formula to this form x just to make a take a square root of x, the same sign plus write it plus. Uh, you, you, the coefficient of x here is one, just to take it's a half, which is half, and make power two for this minus this number square one over four. What I did now, I make a complete square from this expression. The x was spread here into two terms, x squared and x, but here uh, exists only one time, here only, but in a bracket, x plus half, all square. So multiply 4 again, 4 into x plus half 
all squared minus four times a quarter is one plus three and finally four into the bracket all square minus one plus three is two this is a canonical form so I got now he asked you to find the, the the values of a and b and c here state so a is four this this number and b is equal to half and c is equal to two this number this number and this number okay uh, this is number a determine the value of x for which f of x is minimum value this expression or this function is minimum this is a, a square amount or power two minimum value of it is zero this expression x plus half all square minimum value b is zero not negative so f is minimum value when x plus half is equal to zero implies x equal negative half that's it so this is the value of x that makes this function minimum um, the, the minimum value itself f minimum equal 4 into 0 plus 2 with equal to that's equal to this is number b and this is number a okay last one find the set of values read with me find the set of values of x for f of x is smaller than 18 here you can take the original form of f of x here this one quadratic formulas general form or you take the canonical form of uh, you reach here if you take the canonical form that I will use now, 4 into x plus half, all square plus 2 smaller than 18, how can you solve it? It's easy. Uh, minus 2, minus 2 each side. So 4 into x plus half, all square smaller than 16, divide by 4, divide by 4. So x plus half, all squared, smaller than 4. The amount square smaller than positive value can be solved like this. The amount itself is smaller than square root of this number, of this value, and bigger than negative square root of this value. This is the way if you have an expression square smaller than positive number, like this. So x plus half smaller than 2 and bigger than negative 2. By, uh, by subtracting half from each side, you will get negative 2 minus half, minus half is negative 2 and half, or negative 5 over 2, and minus half here will be 3 over 2. So this is the value of x that makes the function smaller than 18. Okay? This is a solution. The next question. This one. Activity number two. Solve 4 over x minus 3 bigger than negative 2 over 2x minus uh, 5. I need to make uh, this inequality 0 in this side. So you add this amount uh, or move this amount with a uh, positive sign in the other uh, the left hand side 4 over x minus 3 plus 2 over 2x minus 5 bigger than 0 now, okay? Denominator is different. I have to equate them like this just to simply multiply them together 2x minus 5, okay? And the numerator will be 4 into 2x minus 5 like this cross multiplication like this plus this one 4 into 2x minus 5 plus 2 into x minus 3. So this expression now bigger than 0. Okay? Simplify. 8x minus 20 plus 2x minus 6 over the two brackets you have here, bigger than 0. So here, 8x plus 2x, 10x. Negative 20 minus 6, negative 26 over the two brackets I have bigger than zero the two brackets x minus three and two x minus five okay i have now a quotient of two expression this expression numerator and this is denominator okay you will try to find zeros of uh, numerator and denominator uh, for numerator uh, 10x minus 26 equals zero implies x equals 26 over 10 equal 2.6 and for the denominator x equal 3 or x equals 5 over 2 just take each bracket equal 0 you will find these uh, zeros okay uh, these amounts called zeros of the expression or zeros of the function or zeros of the amount you have uh, just write a number line to plot these points the three points I got now, you have to plot on the number line. I look at them. This You can write it as a decimal to be able to uh, compare with the next one. 
Now smallest number 2.5 and then 2.6 and then 3. So just to take three points to show in the number line 2.5 and 2.6 and 3. Okay? This is the values of x and uh, look at numerator now. For numerator, you have zeros at 2.6. 2.6 is 0. This linear function 10x minus 26 to the right of the zero is the same sign of coefficient of x. Positive here. This is the rule to find the, the sign of the linear function. And the left of zero is negative. Also, for denominator, I have two zeros. Three is zero. And the five over two, 2.5 also is a zero. Okay, between roots, as you know, uh, the function is negative. Outside the roots, the function L was positive here. Okay, so I have this number and this number now. Plot these numbers. I want this expression bigger than zero. Bigger than zero means positive. The positive coming from negative over positive? No. If you divide this and this will be negative. But negative over negative here, the answer will be positive. That's what I want now. This one, I want it now. This, this interval. And if this is negative, I don't need. I want this one. I want this one. Positive over positive. Again, bigger than zero means positive. Uh, number over number will be positive if it was positive over positive or negative over negative only. So I picked the uh, part of the number line that satisfies this uh, rule. I found here and here. So the solution set now, just write the interval, uh, 2.5 and 2.6, open interval, union three and infinity. Okay, open, all open. That's, you can write it as a, uh, Inequality, no problem. Or this, this is easy to write. Okay. Continue this question also. It's easier than the previous one. X plus 2 over X minus 5 is smaller than 0. For numerator, put X plus 2 equals 0. Implies X equal negative 2. It's very easy. For denominator, X minus 5 is equal to 0. Implies X is equal to 5. Go to the number line. Plot the two points. Negative 2 to the left, 5 to the right. Uh, for numerator, uh, negative 2 is 0. Numerator, negative 2 is 0. And to the right of uh, 0, the same sign of x, positive. Okay, negative here. The denominator at x is 0 here. At x equal 5 for denominator. To the right is positive also. To the left is negative. Okay. And you try to put these points here avoid these points uh, now I want this expression be smaller than zero means a negative negative coming from positive over negative this only very easy here's the answer negative over negative positive here positive over positive is positive here only so the solution said x bigger than the, like this numbers five and two between five and two negative two and five that's it so the solution said negative x between and the x belongs to r this is the solution Easy, yes? Very easy. Last question. I have a system of inequalities now. Activity number three. Solve the following system. As I told you, the system two times one, two inequalities in one unknown. One unknown is x, exists here and here. You will solve each one separately and then collect the solution in one number line in the last. So answer, uh, put this one, 15x squared minus 7x minus two, make it equal zero, okay? I can factor or you can use delta, no problem. 15x is 3x times 5x. Uh, and the 2 is 2 times 1. I can write 2 here. I want the difference is 7. Yeah, I make 2 here to be 10 and the minus 1. Here 2 is negative. I want the middle term is negative. Negative time positive. When this number is negative, you have to split it into negative time positive. Each one knows that negative time positive is negative. Okay? So... Uh, the, the roots now x equal two thirds or x equal negative one over five. Revise with me negative 10x again plus 3x is negative 7x. Answer is correct. This is the um, first inequality. Keep it now. Go to the second inequality. This inequality negative x squared. It's, a, it's, a, it's a better to multiply the whole inequality by negative one to get it positive x squared as normal as you solve. So multiplying this inequality by negative one, you will get x squared minus six x plus 10. When you multiply, don't forget, the inequality by negative number or divide by negative value 
you have to change the inequality sign from smaller to bigger zero now forget this one deal only with this one okay x squared minus 6x six, six plus 10 less than 0 this is the second now inequality you have to solve it uh, the 10 is 2 times 5 or 10 minus 2 times 5 not 6 so make a delta here to find the answer okay uh, delta is b squared negative 6 squared minus 4ec the a is 1 and c is 10 36 minus 40 is equal to oh it's a negative value delta is negative value means the function either lies completely above x-axis or completely down x-axis this is the meaning of delta is negative here the coefficient of x squared is positive so the function is open upward this one this means the function is positive for all. This function, this function, say f of x, f of x here is positive for every x belongs to r because it lies above x-axis. So I want to I want to make it positive. It's already positive. Bigger than zero means positive. It's already positive. So the denominator is a solution all set of real numbers. Now uh, uh, plot the two solutions on the number line. Don't forget the zeros from the first inequality to third and negative one over five, negative one over five uh, to the left, and the bigger number to the right. The function zero. This is numerator. Uh, I want the first inequality. Don't forget smaller than zero or equal, or equal. I make it solid uh, circle here because the two points uh, belongs to solution now. This is a solution of the first inequality, okay? The so second inequality as a as this denominator, this, sorry, not them, I'm sorry. This is the first one and second one, not. I don't have denominator and numerator, I'm sorry. I have two inequalities. So first inequality and second inequality solution is whole number line. The solution of two equation or two inequalities is a common part of them, common solution between them. The common solution this, this part, which is the first one so the solution set here all x such as that x belongs to r and write this inequality now this inequality subset of this number line so the intersection of them is a the smaller one this if you studied sets a theory before you you will understand what i'm talking about now thank you my students this is the answer if you have any comments or any problem in this lesson or any other lesson, just write for me in the comments and inshallah I'll help you as soon as I see your comments. Thank you so much. See you next time. Goodbye.